What's up YouTube, it's your boy Cat Loco. Give me a quick video today on a quick little tip on how to put a winch on a U-Haul car transport trailer. So right now we got the 85 Monte Carlo SS and <laughs> I think it runs, it may not run, um, but we're gonna winch it on to the trailer. I'm kind of at an incline, but this is what you need. For Harbor Freight, they sell a uh, dual hitch. So you got your two inch ball on your trailer. And then you also have the extender so you can mount your winch onto it. Okay, next step, once you have your, I have a winch plate that bolts into here. I had to put this in here because the pin didn't line up correctly. I forgot to drill this out a little wider. So <laughs> there's a hole for now. I'm just doing it one time. I don't recommend this, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I got an extension in here. You should have a pin. My pin didn't line up. <clears throat> I have a winch plate and I got a 13,000 pound winch, which, which is overkill, but that's what we got. So I got my remote plugged in here. I got my power, my positive, my earth or ground, um, ground to the battery down there, power, and then we're gonna connect it to the car battery. Um, I bought these terminals from Harbor Freight. Uh, I have two of them. I have to go hook up the uh, positive one. I'm just gonna put it on there, hit the trigger, there's my line for the money. Our freight also sells axle straps. I have two of them, but uh, one should work. So I'm just fine, place it on the frame, wrap this around, hook it onto my winch, and let's see if we can get it onto the trailer. All right, so we got the battery hooked up. Got my negative and positive. And I got my engage in turned on so now when i uh hit the button on the end hopefully it's in neutral all right uh, let me turn the wheels and turn back on Thank you. 
Okay, so we got it on there. As you can see, I had a little mishap. It's a, that's like partly my fault because when I pulled the uh, Ford, the rope had started chafing and I totally forgot about it and it snapped. So I just did a basic rope climber figure eight. So I looped it, looped it around and then brought it back up, made a knot. I'm gonna get a new cable, but for now, you know, <clears throat> I just made a knot. That's my knot right here. That's my extra rope. Something's leaking. But yeah, I just put it around the frame and pulled it with the axle strap. That's water. I don't know where it's coming from. Um, but yeah, I just clamped it on this for now to get it up here. I might leave the winch attached. And then do something with this rope. Now I'm taking a winch off. Um, but yeah, a little bush fix. I really didn't want to <laughs> move this trailer, try and back up perfectly again, because you know I can't really drive a trail like that, especially backing up. Um, but I watched some videos and it was pretty easy. So I'm gonna take this strap off, put my chains on, strap my wheels in, take this uh, winch off and get on the road but yeah that's how you <laughs> winch uh you haul trailer but anyway this is your boy cat loco as always remember to like comment definitely subscribe share if you want peace <laughs>